the documents library, documents as it's called, uh, is probably the, the main, or has been the main focus over the past 12 months, uh, 18 months, uh, as we've gone from introducing Qualio to establishing the building blocks of a, a quality management system, those processes, procedures, and evidencing of that. So being able to set periodic review on documentation. So again, if you are creating those as standalone documents in an online repo somewhere, you're ending up then going into a calendar somewhere and setting reminders to actually go back and review that document. Whereas in Colio, you can set six months, 12 months, whatever time frame you want to put against that document and you will get notifications to say, hey, that document's up for review. Uh, if you can establish training records against those uh, procedural documentation, uh, documents that you've, you've established as needing some evidence that people have read and understood that, to be able to then say, yes, we are effectively communicating this information out, yes, we are actually getting the rest of the team understanding why we have a quality system, and Qualio does that perfectly. We have just completed the validation of the new supplier feature for 2022, and we're sort of at the point now of starting to build out the library of critical suppliers in that Qualio system. And again, having that ability to collect your uh, information to a single point and then be able to set that periodic review, uh, I think is invaluable. The events function, uh, we have um, those event functions set up for non-conformity. Corrective action as a, as a separate uh, event. Uh, preventive action, opportunity for improvement. Uh, change controls and just being able to set up a little bit of a stepwise event, just as simple as investigation, you know, root cause, what actions are you going to take, what's your verification to actually just say, you know, did that work, has that prevented that from happening again.